Well, today's highly anticipated release of JFK files was delayed by the president. The CIA and the FBI started lobbying for this delay months ago, but that was extended to the 11th hour. And our Marianne Martinez is live at Dealey Plaza right now in Dallas. Well, we will still be seeing some of those documents, about 2,800 of them, but many more will be under further review. Now, an expert here at SMU tells us that what is in those documents would not have changed the larger story about what happened here at Daly Plaza, but there were a lot of uh, sources and methods, which is what is uh, used by the CIA and the FBI, not just back from the 60s, but as recently as the 90s, it's contained in those documents. And of course, those spies and those secret information is what they don't want out there. The government must release everything. And when they said everything, they meant everything. The CIA and FBI successful in pushing back a 25-year deadline to make the JFK files public. According to a 1992 law, the release is expected to include information on Lee Harvey Oswald's trip to Mexico City. He met with Cubans and Soviets two months before he shot President Kennedy in Dallas on November 22, 1963. He was also being watched and tailed by the CIA. And so consequently, I think the CIA is a little bit concerned, perhaps that they'll, of two things, perhaps that they'll get a little bit of egg on their face to say that, yes, we were watching this guy already. And then, of course, he does this terrible thing. The director of the Center of Presidential History at SMU says the CIA could also be worried about what's called sources and methods, spy trade secrets being revealed, as well as the name of CIA operatives. The delay is adding fuel to the fire for those who believe Oswald was the lone shooter but had help from other countries. I don't think the full story is out there. I don't know that the full story will ever be out there. And Professor Engel telling us not only would it reveal uh, names, but it could also uh, of, of people who uh, were spies in the past, but people who were in, uh, informants helping the CIA in Latin American countries could make things diplomatically very sticky for the United States. Now, those other documents that are not being released at the time, they will be under a 180-day review. Reporting live from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.